wrong things, otherwise I'll forget what I need to say. Hi, thanks for coming to our home concert. My name is Mrs. Siskel, and I'm the orchestra director here at the Intermediate. I really want to congratulate your students before we get started. They've put in over six hours of outside of school work with me to prepare for this production. Anybody that you're seeing in this concert tonight is an orchestra student. Our only exception is we have a young lady working on lights and a curtain that is from the LCIS theater department. And we really appreciate her being here. But everybody else is an orchestra student. We put this together through several weeks of pretty intensive music work to wind up with stuff going on the stage and work with the actors to memorize their lines. Um, it's supposed to be a really fun night, and uh, I hope that you and your families are all able to enjoy it. I just wanted to remind you that if you have a beginning orchestra student, they're going to be performing from their location on this side of the stage. And so by that I mean the floor over there by the cafeteria, they will not be moving. So if you would like to change seats with someone or move at this time so you can be ready to see your student, they will be over there about halfway through the performance. The performance is seamless. There will not be any applause with the exception of the beginner's portion of the concert. You will not need a clap in between the Philharmonic and Symphony portion. Philharmonic and Symphony are of course going to be stationed here throughout the concert. I've been asked to remind you to please completely turn off all cell phones, not silent or vibrate, as the transmission will interfere with the technical equipment of our video masters. They're working a professional TV this evening. Any video or off? photographic equipment is discouraged during the performances for the safety of the performance and to avoid the interruption of our professional recording and for the comfort of the other audience members. Please visit the video masters table for a demo of tonight's performance at the end of the concert. I just want to point out, parents, you have a program, I hope, and there was some important dates listed on the back side of your program. I want to draw your attention to the fact that next weekend is Region Orchestra Tryouts, and I know it's kind of hard to see them, but I really would like anybody who's trying out for Region to please stand and be recognized so we can wish you good luck. Way to go, students! Other students their age in the district and in our region, which includes Brazosport ISD, for some prestigious placements. Um, there's only like 20 violins, 14 violas, 12 cellos, and 8 basses that are selected out of that entire group. So it's very competitive. And then the students who are selected get to perform in a special orchestra that includes band members in November. So it's really a big honor for middle school students. I also want to point out that on Monday, I'm going to be sending home information about our fundraiser. Yay! Um, everyone's usually like, oh no, she's going to ask us to sell more stuff. We're not selling anything! Yay! Yay! We are doing a very unique concept called a rockathon. And at the rockathon, your students are essentially going to be doing a marathon from rocking chairs. And they're collecting donations to see if they can rock in chairs for six hours straight. During the rocking in chairs, they can play video games, they can play volleyball, they can eat food, they can watch movies, and during this time they have collected pledges from friends, family, other sponsors, and those pledges are going directly to benefit our purchasing of uniforms, which will be used by all students at the 7th and 8th grade level. So if you have a 6th grader right now, and we buy a uniform this year, your student will be using it next year. And also, our 7th and 8th graders are taking a trip to San Antonio in the spring, and it will also benefit our trip to San Antonio, as well as other things like receptions and parties for the orchestra. So be on the lookout. Those students, you got, you're all excited about that. They're all about that. So be on the lookout for your information about Rockathon that can come on Monday. Lastly, I gave out a little handout. It was in bright orange that has to do with what? cleanup duties. Students, make sure you're listening. This is cleanup duties for the students afterwards. This is to help with the fact that, I don't know if many of you are aware, we have very limited custodial staff available at CCISD these days. And so we're trying to make sure that everything gets put back to normal. Um, we're not going to bother these ladies too much. So second period beginning violins are going to put away all the chairs that are over there for the beginners. Beginning violas and chillas and bases are responsible for picking up the trash. I asked the students to look for about two to five pieces of trash to pick up. Philharmonic Orchestra, you're going to take all the chairs and put them back where they belong. Symphony, you're going to put back all the stands, as well as any of the stand lights that you borrowed from me. And then I also need some help with the police. Anyways, thank you all so much for your time this evening. I really hope you enjoy our presentation of Charlie and
It's no wonder she found the rosin after all that scratching away. Charlie sighed. All these children seem so awful and spoiled. I don't stand any chance of finding one of the golden rosins. After all, I still don't know a cello. But the morning of Charlie's birthday came with a big surprise. His parents and grandpa had saved up enough money for his wish to come true. found a large black cloth case, and inside was an old cello, just his size, and thus yet there was a stringy old bow to go with it. Charlie thanked his family, and they all encouraged him to begin, to begin playing right away. Charlie sat down and embraced the cello, setting the bow to the string. When nothing happened, Oh dear, there isn't any rosin on here, Charlie muttered. She so looked inside the case for the small item. Grandpa John looked embarrassed. I can't believe this, but we may have forgotten that part. Charlie's mother smiled. Well, why don't you head over to the music store and pick one up right now? She handed him some change. You didn't have to tell Charlie twice? Off you went, run into the music store and catch it just as open. He poured over the rosin counter, looking for just the right one. And of course, in the back of his mind, he wondered, will this be it? Will this be the last golden rosin? Finally, he picked just the right one, a Ronald Rosin Grand, of course, and he paid and opened it. The shopkeeper saw it before Charlie did. You found it, Charlie, you found the last golden rosin, and in my store. Charlie was congratulated by the other children in the store, but he could barely concentrate. He couldn't wait to get home and tell his family. And 
Charlie simply tried one run after another on all the different cello bows.
Are they quite tame? asked Violet's mother. Oh, they do have a wild side, Mr. Arthur nodded to himself. Yes, but the inventor crowned. We just haven't quite worked out all the things yet. 
All right, Violet, that's plenty. Miss Beale will wait to get Violet's attention. Quiet down now. Violet's face was shocked. Mom, I can't, she wailed. The people won't let me stop. Sure enough, on and on, poor Violet played. Do something, Miss Beale begged Mr. Rawson. I can't, Mr. Rawson sighed. It really never lets you get tired, but it also never lets you stop. We haven't quite worked it out yet. The missile began and it came two more metronomes. Please, take the performing girl and her mother to our silent room. Ronald Rawson instructed. What will happen there? asked the curious Veronica. Well, hopefully the room's sound barrier will cause the viola to stop working. Mr. Rawson nodded thoughtfully as the metronomes led them away. Now come this way, there is so much left in our tour. Chattering away to her mom. 
and drawing her by Lynn, carrying a shard of her by Lynn, covered in garbage, followed closely by her very unhappy mother. But now, Charlie, said Mr. Rogers, it's time we left these three silly children behind. I have something very important to talk to you about. He stood and looked proudly back at the factory door. How I love my factory. He turned back and looked at Charlie. Do you love it too, Charlie? Oh, yes, cried Charlie. I think it's the most amazing, wonderful place in the whole world. Mr. Rawson jumped up and down, obviously very excited. I am pleased to hear you say that, Charlie, because I am giving the whole factory to you. Charlie and Grandpa Tom stared at him, and then at each other, and then back at Mr. Rawson. That's right, he smiled. I can't go on forever. Someone has got to care for the instruments, and the metronomes, of course, and I got a good, sensible, music loving child who is willing to learn all of the secrets of the instrument based trade. Are you interested, Charlie? Charlie didn't think he could be any more happy. Absolutely.